I believe that the, the coalition saw that there is mm. nothing being done in the right. black community around mm. HIV and AIDS education, awareness, information, anything. Right. Um, that nobody to support the people that are that have identified as being HIV positive. Mm -hmm. There was none of that. And so um, so I do commend them on the fact that they've actually recognized that as an, as a problem in mm -hmm. our community and a gap and uh, and then they uh, got a grant mm -hmm. um, to um, um, to hire somebody and uh, you know it's a typical thing you only have one person mm -hmm. right so when you have one person you know you got one person trying to cover all of you know the Atlantic province so I was saying that um, yes, that they. I thought that that was a great idea that they would hire. So, but I was the only one doing it, right. of course, right? So uh, that presented itself with a bit of a challenge yeah. because I was. I mean, they sent me everywhere, but I was. But I. But I was only representing black people yeah. around HIV and AIDS education work. So. Um, so I kind of became what what people thought what the black communities call me the ambassador of. Uh, HIV and AIDS in the community <laughs> because everything they had to do with the you know AIDS they would call me right? yeah. or, or they would have a question or you know um, uh, so so it was a bit of a challenge because I you know I was traveling the Atlantic province and they've sent me to places you know nationally stuff and I was trying to represent our community yeah. as much as I can um, uh, around what's happening hmm. in in those areas.